You have a trace that needs to be Y due to high currents, but don't have the space? This is Ed with another tip for Autodesk Eagle. Due to specific restrictions on your design, it's possible you're going to need wider traces. At first glance, maybe due to high currents. Common rule of thumb is that for every 500 milliamps, use at least 10 mil wire width. There are a few options you could consider. Use a wider trace and make the board larger or duplicate the trace on another layer and keep your design smaller. For this example, we'll be using the manual walk around obstacle routing capabilities of Eagle and disable the loop removal function. For your convenience, loop removal is enabled by default. In this instance I have on this board, I actually want to use a 20 mil wire width according to the rule of thumb to reach a pad here as well as a surface mount over there. I'm going to go ahead and enable the route command and I'm going to use a 20 mil wire width. I'm going to route initially on the top side, which is already enabled. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and try to route this and not able to get my way through, as you can see. So I'm going to change the wire width to 10 mils. That way I could work my way down. Okay, there we go. And yes, that X yes lets me know that that's my ending point right there. Or that's a connecting point at that point right there. Uh, I'm going to do the same right here to the surface mounted pad. I'm just going to run it. I'm going to try to stay as in the middle as uh, I can. And right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this on the bottom side. Okay, so I already have it enabled. I'm going to go ahead and select the bottom layer. Okay, so and I'm still using the walk around even though I'm going to be tracing this line. So let me go here. Okay, I'm going to move it out of the way that way you can see that I'm on the bottom side. Okay, and I'll just keep on working. I'm just tracing this one. It won't be exact uh, because I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. That way the video is not as long. I'm just trying to explain the concept here for now. And I finished there. Now here's an interesting scenario because since it ends up at a surface mounted pad, at some point I'm going to have to switch layers. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. As you can see, I'm still on the bottom layer. You see it in blue. So I'm going to just trace this side. Um, this line is there. Try to get it, and I'm going to hit the space bar. That way I could um, uh, uh, change layers. As you could see, it automatically gets a view, but I could continue to work. DRC is in real time active, so I could it lets me know that is the furthest part I could do go with my via and uh, stay within my DRC restriction. So I'll take it to the closest part possible and just finish my trace right there. Okay, so this is how you duplicate. It's that easy, that simple. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.